did you go from the uh, your entry role to where you're at now? There was a, a structure reorganization in CV, and they actually um, we had I think three uh, office services supervisor at the uh -huh. time. And we were like shifting offices, shifting the dynamic, and they um, eliminated one position. Right. So, m me being the newest person in, that position went away, and um, my the, the department had now reached out to me because we've had conversations just, you know, walking through the office. And he's like, I heard what happened. Um, we had a conversation, and he said, Well, how do you feel about joining property management? And I was like, Well, I don't really know much about property management. Yeah. I own uh, residential real estate, so awesome. I'm in, uh, you know, rentals, but I actually have a property manager, so right. I was like, I don't do it myself, <laughs> but I was like, hey, why not, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know, let's just try to see where it takes right. me. So I got into it and um, just been soaking up the information as what I can, you know, as the admin at the time, um, you know, real estate service administrator soaked in as much as I could and then uh, last year in April got promoted to assistant real estate manager. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, and and that, that leads me to ask this question next. And, and first I want to make a statement because I've been trying to recruit diverse talent mm -hmm. and people know that I have this platform and I'm doing the things that I've been doing in the industry and so they reach out to me and say, hey, Niles, I got this, uh, you know, um, opportunity do you know anybody and so I'll go to my network and I'll ask people if they want to work and I'm having trouble because sometimes these positions they're sending me are entry-level positions kind of like the one you had mm -hmm. and I'm having trouble because I'll show these candidates these entry-level positions mm -hmm. and they'll look and I'll say now mind you they met me and they said, oh, I want to get in commercial real estate. I really want to, you know, get into the industry, et cetera, et cetera. I said, okay, cool. But because it's not a highly coveted job, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I'll let you know. And they never get back with me. Or right. um, they'll say, I don't know if I can take, you know, that. Because there's a little bit of a pay cut right, when you right. first take an entry-level mm -hmm. job. Uh, and these are sometimes individuals that just got laid off during Corona. Right. And they'll come to yeah. me and say, hey, I'm looking for a job. I want to get in the industry. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'll say, okay, cool. Get the, get the reply or email. Here's one. It's like, uh, not that one. Right. So what would you say to people that are trying to get in and it's not actually the job that they may have thought they wanted to do? Mm -hmm. What would you say to them as far as taking that entry-level job? I feel like, you know, we have to start somewhere. <laughs> Everybody got to start somewhere. Right. And I know we, we all have this high expectations especially in these days yeah right yeah. the the new generation yeah. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yes um, but for me I was like I had to start somewhere you know and even taking going from the office service supervisor right. I was in a supervisor role mm -hmm. I had to take a step down going back to an admin role yeah. to continue my pursue my career in right. real estate you know commercial real estate I thought about it, yes, the ego hit me, and yeah. I was like, oh, nice. we're going from managing people and having the one that puts out the rules and, you know, tell everybody what to do, to right. going back to being told what to do right. and having somebody manage. I mean, I still had a manager, right. you know, in the other position, but I had more autonomy. Mm -hmm. In the admin role, you know, you're supporting somebody, so there's not that much autonomy. Right. But I had to swallow that ego mm -hmm. and that pride in being like, this is what I need to do to progress, right. then, it, you know, I'm, I'm going to do that. You yeah. know what I mean? Sometimes you got to take that step back just to propel forward. Yeah. And surprising enough, it propelled me forward even tenfold. You know what I mean? Exactly. I always feel like once you put the work in, you'll be blessed in some way, shape, it or will. form. Exactly. Um, it'll multiply. You know, as long as you have the energy behind it and you have the we're and all about what you want your future to look like, yeah. then you can always progress to that. You know yeah. what I mean? There's nothing stopping you. You hold the limits to yourself. Exactly. And, and your career. Exactly. And, and to your point, um, if you have that go-getter mentality and you are as thorough as you think you are to mm -hmm. get, get top jobs, right. then look, taking a backdoor entry mm -hmm. isn't that bad. Now, I don't know what people's timing is, but this is a marathon, not a sprint. Right. If you really want to get into commercial real estate mm -hmm. industry for whatever reason, um, you know, that backdoor entry may be your only way to get in. Yes. Um, and 
I think it's actually a great way to get in any company because you can actually see the dynamics and behind the scenes and right. who's doing what and what teams you may want to join mm-hmm. or what verticals you may want to operate in. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, my background was in appraisal and I was in grad school and most most grad students aren't trying to get into appraisal. Right, right. right. But that was my only way in. Mm-hmm. And that job was going to teach me a skill set in valuing mm-hmm. properties. That's yeah. all I needed to know. Right. And I did it for almost three years Yeah. until I said, okay, you know, uh, I can transition. Mm-hmm. And that's how I made that transition. Mm-hmm. Mind you, when I people reach out to me, hey, I want to get in, I want to get in, I said, okay, here's an appraisal job. I don't want to do it. Yeah. It was like, right. all right, all right, all right. So, um, you know, it, I always feel like people that really want to do it or just want to do anything to get in and will show that effort. So, um, With a caveat to that, though, I will yeah. add, real estate, commercial real estate, we both know is not that easy to get into. It's not. You know, it's who knows who. Exactly. Um, I hate to say it, but it's the truth. Yeah. Um, it is, you know, it's always referral hired. And sure. if you, I feel like sometimes you might have, like what you're saying, you might have to take that step back to get in at, at that lower yeah. position. But you can always move up because there's so many different ways for you to grow in commercial right. real estate. There like is. you just said appraisal, I'm property management, you got brokerage. You got yeah. so many different avenues that you can branch out to once you're in the industry. Right. So I just feel like that, you know, that's just something else that it's so hard to get in. If that's something you really want to do, you definitely got to take that hit. Yes, I find myself talking to both sides, the executives looking to get talent. I also find myself talking to the talent. Like, mm-hmm. look, both you guys and gals need to yeah. adjust your expectations mm-hmm. here to let's be in the middle. Yes. And then once we do that, figure it out, you take off from there. Correct.